With everyone, that sexy nerd is back again, and I'm here with uh, with Tom here watching uh, Game of Thrones. Now, I thought I'd just sit with you guys right before uh, we start, but um, I I've been trying to get him to watch uh, Game of Thrones forever, and we finally decided to do so. And it actually the the episode the show is actually going really well for us. Like you know, it's better than I expected. He's already like an instant fan. And we're only on like episode three so you know i i'm really having a great time and i hope you enjoy the 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 reaction and uh please subscribe if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content and let's just get into the video excited i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited well we're finally doing game of thrones mm, not much else to say man like you know uh by the way he uh, here's uh iron beast over here too like you know it's Man, I'm finally get to show him this show, and I'm so happy we finally get to. So, what have you heard about this uh, about Game of Thrones? I mean, over the years, I've heard lots and lots of stuff. You know, just bits and pieces, but I know it was super popular, extremely well liked by everyone all over the place. Even my sons watched it. It just grabs you by the nuts and doesn't let go. But um, until like season eight. And don't spoil it for everybody else who, who does. So, yes, it will infamously end really badly. But I do have news for people like who who, who are out there that hate the, the, the ending of the show. Hey, you got to respect people's choices, right? So Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's a huge yeah. cast in the show, right? Yeah, there's a huge cast in the show. And it honestly gets bigger every season. But, uh, well... <laughs> bigger and smaller and everybody knows what i mean when i'm talking about that so um yeah th this 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 is honestly has one, been one of my favorite shows and i'm actually really really excited too like you know especially since house of the dragon the continuation of that is is it's coming back and everything and it's it's such an extensive the guy who wrote it is such a fantastic author and you know fantastic storyteller and the the story that he's made is just something that'll like everybody regardless of how it ended you know it'll it'll still go down as like some of the greatest the greatest storytelling in history honestly in my opinion anyway all right here's episode one guys so wait, what time period is this set in oh uh this is a different uh universe this is fantasy okay but it's it has historic history based in our world because there's dragons and stuff in this right Yes. Yeah, I'm glad to finally get around to watching this show because I know that it's well, such it's a good show. time. Holy crap, look at that. Oh, yeah. The, the sets and everything are amazing in this show. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. It's just like literally been ripped in pieces. Oh, <laughs> good gruesome. Yeah, Holy it looks shit. like a massacre of some kind. Thing you'd see at a museum. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the dead bodies been so dead so long. Oh shit. Is that like set out in a specific Our orders were to track the worldlings. You don't think it'll ask us how they died? Get back on your horse. Wow, this guy wants to go find out who attacked them? <laughs> they even killed the children. It's a good thing we're not children. <laughs> you wanna All run right. away south? <laughs> run away. Of course they will behead you as a deserter. He's Get a bit hard back out. Back on your horse. Yes, British Matt Damon. Yeah, I was going to say, he looks familiar. Your dead men seem to have moved camp. Is that the exact same spot, cleaned out? Yeah. Where they went. yeah. What the hell? Oh, what's that in the background? What indeed? No, no, he just like, he told him, get back on your horse. And he's like, yes, Matt Damon. <laughs> he's smart though, he wanted to get back what behind the it? wall. That. Oh, shit. Oh. So I guess he wasn't born. <laughs> I can't believe they went back into the situation and didn't even have their weapons drawn. Oh shit! What the hell? Oh! Wow, that's cool. Yeah, people away. Oh! Holy shit! <laughs> Who was it? Yeah. Now hear the greatest intro song you'll ever hear in your life. Oh, Sean Bean is in this? Yes, sir. This intro shows all the locations that you'll be in the show. Oh, okay. Like, that's the part we were just at, basically. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, that's huge. 
Now we're going across the sea. Yeah, it hints at a really elaborate world, eh? Yes, it is. I can't believe I never watched this. So it's got tons of combat in it, obviously. Oh, they let him live. Mm -hmm. Winterfell. Is Winterfell its <laughs> place, or that's that's what that's what this is right here. Right. Awesome. This, uh... Keep practicing, Bran. Don't think too much, Bran. Relax your bow arm. <laughs> it's the last thing you want to see. <laughs> this is a journey we're gonna go on. Captured a deserter from the Night's Watch. Law is law, my lady. Tougher times, eh? Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Yes, it is. You had to grow up fast back in those days, huh? This world is different from ours. Winter last can last for years. Look at that. You see that? There's blood literally on the on the chopping block. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the White Walkers. Tough laws. Look at that sword. In the name of Robert of the House Baratheon, I, Eddard, the House Stark, Lord of Winterfell, sentence you to die. Oh, oh shit. Tough times, man. I love this show so much. A lot of familiar faces, even though they are a lot younger. You've seen Rob Stark before, haven't you? Yeah. The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. Swing the sword. Is it Trace or the White Walkers? The White Walkers have been gone for thousands of years. Yeah, they're dealing in absolutes. I mean, I would have been interested to see what else that guy knew. Got it. Mountain lion? No mountain lions in these woods. This is all symbolism for later, so. Right. The size of that wolf? Huge. It's a dire wolf. Dire wolf. <laughs> dire wolves were real, actually. There are no dire wolves south of the wall. There are five pups, one for each of the Stark children. The dire wolf is a sigil of your house. But if they grow up loyal, that'll be freaking awesome. Yeah, but, you have no idea how awesome, actually. The size <laughs> of that thing. Imagine five of those as your allies. I love the dire wolves. Uh, run to the litter. That one's yours, Snow. That one's everyone's favorite. I love this <laughs> world building. It's amazing. You have no idea about world building when it comes to this. This world is so huge and intricate. I, I don't even know how the man even did all everything so intricately <laughs> oh boy when we were seven we Wicked. jumped off the cliffs at castle rock you were never afraid what if john aaron told someone there's there's this one unmistakable truth she can play a bitch really well though yeah <laughs> she suits it she was mm. sarah connor right john aaron is dead i know he was like a father to you the king rides for winterfell he's coming this far north begin. The only one thing he's after. We have plenty of candles for Lord Tyrion's chamber. Did a lot About of that. these guys start off in Game of Thrones and then move on to other work? Yeah. Look at this little kid. It's a good thing I played all that Assassin's Creed. Dude's got skills. Holy shit. He's got no fear. It's old school parkour. Yeah, right? I saw the king. No climbing. But this is this is his best friend in the king. Ah. That's his son. Love the helmets. <laughs> That's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy. You got fat. <laughs> Cat. Your Grace. Oh, I haven't seen you. Where the hell have you been? Guarding the north for you, Your Grace. That's Jamie Lannister, the Queen's twin brother. Would you please shut up? My queen. And so it begins. I was going to say, the, the look on her face and everything. Uh, again, you have no idea. <laughs> you remember me at 16? <laughs> All I wanted to do was crack skulls and fuck girls. Man has his priorities straight. I would name you the Hand of the King. Awesome. I'm trying to get you to run my kingdom while I eat, drink, and haul my way to an early grave. Damn it, Ned, stand up. I tell you, you're going to love this guy. You're going to be like, He's awesome. damn. We were meant to rule together. If your sister had lived, we'd have been bound by blood. I have a son, you have a daughter. We'll join our houses. He's got a lot of honor, this guy. I like him. We've been expecting you, Lord Tyrion. <laughs> Come on, girls. Uh. It's a parade! He's getting it all at once. 
I love Peter Dinklage in this movie. She was my sister. She belonged with me. In my dreams, I kill him every night. It's done. Targaryens are gone. Not all of them. She's so young Looks here, exactly right? the same. Daenerys, there's our bride oh, to be. Oh, God. You have a woman's body now. You're the dodgy brother. What are you up to? I need you to be perfect today. Weirdly. When they write the history of my reign, sweet sister, they will say it began today. It's too hot, my lady. She has a quiet intensity about her. <laughs> the series. Oh. House Targaryen. There's Aquaman. Right okay. King of the mm. Andal and his sister, Daenerys. Khal Drogo has never been defeated. And you will be his queen. If he didn't like her, we'd know. So that look was like, damn, that girl fine. Soon you will cross the narrow sea and take back your father's throne. I want to go home. How do we go home? With Khal Drogo's army. I would let his whole tribe fuck you if that's what it took. <laughs> oh, nice. Single time I hear that, I want to smack a dude in yeah. the face. Wow. When would we be married? Soon or do we have to wait? Please make father say yes. It's the only thing I ever wanted. <laughs> She's got her priority so straight. Rich girl. <laughs> Uncle Benjamin. Lady Stark thought it might insult the royal family to see the bastard in their midst. Well, you're always welcome on the wall. Father will let me if you ask him. The wall isn't going anywhere. I like the way the soldiers are always cautioning the younger ones to not do it. Your uncle's in the Night's Watch. I've always wanted to see the wall. You're Tyrion Lannister, the Queen's brother. Let me give you some advice, bastard. Never forget what you are. All dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes. Right. <laughs> You're gonna love him too. Okay, that makes more sense now down at the river with the wolves. The boy I beheaded. Said the walkers lost his friends. Dire wolves, south of the wall. Talk of the walkers. Winter is coming. It's a fantastic pilot episode because it's really opening up to a bigger story. Just a lot is being set up here. How old are you? 13, your grace. And have you bled yet? Jeez, I forgot she asked her that. It's like, imagine, like, guys going up to other guys and saying, has your dick gotten bigger yet? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Nice. I hear we might be neighbours soon. Yes, the king has honoured me with his offer. Would be good to have you in the field. The competition has become a bit stale. I don't fight in tournaments. I just want to fight a man for real. I don't want him to know what I can do. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I won't let him take you. What he's been offered is actually an honour, though. A rider in the night. What news? She says John Aaron was murdered by the Lannisters. She says the king is in danger. Do you think she would risk her life exactly. if she wasn't certain her husband was murdered? The king rode for a month to ask for Lord Stark's help. He's mm -hmm. the only one he trusts. Your father and brother rode south once on a king's demand. He feels honor bound to the king now that he knows that news, eh? Yeah, and it's just, like it's his best friend, so yeah. you know. I love this party. Oh, yes. this is the ceremony. Married. Getting married, yeah. Snakes. I hate snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? That actually looks good, not gonna lie. Makes me hungry. <laughs> when do I meet with the car? When their omens favor war. I piss on Dothraki omens. This crowd knows how to throw a party, dude. <laughs> I know, it looks like the best party ever! Even their parties have got combat in it. <laughs> they are truly a warring people, aren't they? Started off as a, a guy and a girl having fun and it turned into war. Oh, shit. A Dothraki wedding without at least three deaths is considered a dull affair. <laughs> <laughs> My guy from Resident Evil. Gift for the new Khaleesi. I served your father for many years. God's be good, I hope to all serve the rightful king. They all need to probably tread pretty lightly around this crew. Look at that. Dragon's eggs, Daenerys. She's beautiful. I don't know how to say thank you in Dothraki. There is no word for thank you in Dothraki. So really, nobody enjoyed themselves so much. It's like, thank you so much. Make him happy. Ugh. <laughs> I hate that guy already, man. 
because you know the common tongue. No. I know what I'm putting you through. Thank you for saying yes. You're a loyal friend. The last one I've got. And I'll make sure you don't look so fucking grim all the time. <laughs> I hope that king lasts a while. He's cool. Now he's climbing higher. I would never have done this when I was a kid. I used to climb everywhere, dude. Even the dog is like, fuck, why are you so high up? Yeah. It? It's like, woo, nope. This kid's brave, man. <laughs> Hello. Uh -oh. Stop! He saw us. How old are you, boy? Ten. Don't push him off the wall. The things I do for love. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch, dude! You get caught having sex with your brother, and yep. you don't want people to know about that. Yeah, exactly. Gross. And it's your twin brother. Dude. You see what you've been missing? Okay, I, I do see what I've been missing. What did you think about that? Yeah, I think, I can't believe I never saw this show when it was out, you know, when it first came out. Um, it seems so cool, and it seems to have all the things I love in a show. So I think it might have been just because of where we were with family and kids. We were watching all the superhero stuff that little kids could watch, you know what I mean? And I like the setups. Like, you could definitely see so many little fine points setting up and pointing to uh, the expanse of the whole series. But yeah, you're right. It, it sets up like so much. And then it, it, it's going to be the same way next episode as well. Right. Um, But again, like there's so much intricacy. And also because I remember what you said at the beginning of the episode, you were like, you know, this this has great world building. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, he's absolutely right. It, and it starts from the first episode. It immediately immerses you into the world and you just have to watch it. And you just have to. It's a journey. Like I said, we're we're going on a journey today, man. We're going yeah. on a journey. The show is just, it's its so good. It's so damn good. This episode didn't waste time getting established into the whole story, right? We've got marriages happening between mm -hmm. Jason Momoa and I Amelia mean, Clark's character. And I, yeah. I, I sort of feel like, you know, at the very end where the queen got busted. That's terrible. It's her twin brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those olden days, it's man. Bad. There was some shit happening in the olden days, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what the show is really, really known for. Incest. <laughs> oh. I think it's really just them, these two idiots. Oh yes, and I forgot about uh, Daenerys and her her brother. Yeah, because, what's going you know, on there? Like, He's a dodgy character, dude. I've never really gotten a full answer on what their relationship was, but I think they've either t uh, like touched naughty bits or did, or you know, he did something. I don't It'll know. be him doing it, not her. And she seems yeah, a little more no. sort of naive and innocent, and he seems like he's a That's real tyrant I'm of a dude. Their whole family is full of, like, you know, incestuous pairs, in fact. Oh, shit. Their whole family. Yeah, their whole family. Because they're like, oh, we're so superior, and we can do this and that. I won't explain yep. everything, because I'll break the immersion, but, you know, I mean... Yeah, and like, it goes back to the whole Blue Bloods gross. thing, right? Going back through the ages, where that's what people did, because, number one, that's who you could trust, and, number two, you're trying to preserve the royal bloodline, right? And try and keep it pure, yes, but it sir. just didn't even work out well in the end, genetically. <laughs> even, even though that's the stupidest thing you could ever think of yeah. i mean i guess in different times it's horrific i love how everybody <laughs> says i love us everybody says different times but people still kind of think that way today right honestly. right but yeah cool um, show man there. looking forward to getting to the next one so yeah yeah i mean it's it's it really is there's so much so much intricacy with the characters you're just only meeting a few of them man i, I could get a sense of that i think i'm gonna need a notepad because i'm not so good with names and characters but uh yeah you well you know, it's it's just a great show, and I can't wait to get to the next one with you. So, all right, guys, please. thanks for joining us. Hope you liked my first watch of this show, and I still can't believe I never saw it when it first came out. Thanks for hanging in with us, and we'll catch you on the next episode. And remember, please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content, and subscribe if you think I deserve it. And we'll see you all later. Catch you later.